Welcome back ladies and gentlemen to Fallout 4's DLC Far Harbor. My name's Camel and this video is going to be a walkthrough guide in which I will show you how to acquire the unique radium rifle known as Radical Conversion. And of course, to acquire this weapon, you will need the Far Harbor DLC installed. So the first thing we want to do is come to the Nucleus. And on the people map, the Nucleus can be found to the southwest of the town of Far Harbor. Once in here, we want to come and find the Vendor Mai. Once talking to her, we want to say that we're here to help, and then agree to help her with her menial tasks. She will want us to find a pump. Next, we will have to head to the Vim Factory. And just warning, this place is rather heavily populated with super mutants, so of course, come prepared for a fight with them. But once inside on a table we will find the pump we have been looking for and don't worry it is marked with a quest marker so it is quite easy to find. Once we pick it up all we need to do is head back to the nucleus and to Mai. We need to tell her that we found the pump regulator and before we even finish the quest she will reward us with radical conversion. Now as always before checking out the weapons based stats I have reduced all of my character's special attribute stats to one. I also have no bobblehead perk or magazine effects applied to my character what this means is we will be seeing the absolute minimum base stats of the weapon. So now let's Let's mod it out, and of course you can mod yours out however you want, but personally, in the first slot I'm going to go with the advanced receiver, which gives exceptional damage. Secondly, I'm going to be going with the long ported barrel, which gives superior recoil, range, and sighted accuracy, however it gives poor hip fire accuracy, but that's no problem. In the next slot, I'm going to be going with the recoil compensating stock, this gives exceptional sighted accuracy and recoil, better aim with scopes, and improved bash damage. Next we're going to be going with the large quick eject mag, superior ammunition capacity and improved reload speed. Can't go wrong with that. Now onto the scopes. Personally, I'm going to be going with the long scope. I prefer this over the long night vision scope, but another very feasible option would just be the reflex sights to make aiming down sights much more easier and practical in close combat. Again, mod yours out however you want, but personally, I'm going with the long scope. And for the final mod slot, I'm going to be going with a muzzle break. This gives exceptional recoil control, better per shot recoil and inferior range. But a range of 180 isn't that inferior to be honest. And once Radical Conversion is modded out how I just did, it has a base ballistic damage of 60, it has a base radiation damage of 50, it uses the 45 ammunition, it has a fire rate of 40, its range is 185, its accuracy is 113, its weight is 22 pounds, and its value is 692 caps. As we can see up the top there, Radical Conversion ignores 30% of the target's damage and energy resistance. Now that sounds damn good, but I've actually found out some information that might make you think twice about this effect, but we'll touch on that in a little bit. So as we know, Radical Conversion is a unique radium rifle that bears the penetrating legendary effect. Now with all of the appropriate perks, I was able to get Radical Conversion's ballistic damage up to about 172. Now although the way I modded it out, it is not automatic, it can fire quite quickly. And again, with the appropriate perks, I was able to get Radical Conversion's radiation damage up to about 100. So 172 ballistic damage and then 100 radiation damage with every single shot isn't too bad and again it can fire quite quickly. So this is actually a pretty damn powerful weapon and because it's not automatic it is actually a viable option for very long range shots. That's why I personally stuck the big scope on it. Now although a big scope makes it quite difficult to use in medium to close ranges I personally don't really need to look downsides to hit the enemy so it's not really an issue for me whatsoever. So it is kind of that really cool in between. I can use it for close combat to take out enemies quickly, firing off multiple shots, or I can use it for those long range shots. Especially if I'm sneaking, I'll be doing around 400 ballistic damage and then the radiation damage on top of that. And again, you can fire off at least two shots a second. You just have to be able to pull the trigger quick enough. So it's not like you're preying on one shot to do the job. If the first shot doesn't do the job, just keep pulling the trigger until the job is done. Hell, you've got the magazine size for it. So it can be used for the long ranged kills, but it can also be used for the close quarters kills. A very excellent weapon when it has this mod set. Almost reminiscent of the All-American from Fallout New Vegas. Now I must admit the All-American is much, much cooler, but once again, the radical conversion with this mod set comes pretty damn close and for Fallout 4 it's the closest thing I can think of. Now let's talk about the penetrating legendary effect that this is equipped with. Ignores 30% of the target's damage and energy resistance. Now the radiation damage does not count as energy damage so the radiation damage does not bypass the enemy's radiation resistances. But to be honest none of that matters anyway because Bethesda 
I really want to love you, but you keep doing this to us. The penetrating legendary effect is broken. Okay, so get this, the penetrating perk says it ignores 30% of the target's damage and energy resistance. However, it does not work as it should. There are some messed up calculations in game and it just doesn't do what it says. Instead of negating 30% of the enemy's armor, it increases your damage done somehow by a measly 14%. So this is very strange and I suppose depending on how much armor your enemy has, increasing your damage by 14% might be better than negating 30% of their armor or it might be worse. Again, I'm here to make weapon guides, not do calculus to try and figure out Bethesda's legendary prefix description lies. But that does mean that although the radiation resistance is never going to be bypassed in the first place, it will increase our radiation damage by 14%, along of course with our ballistic damage. So although the description is wrong, this might actually work out in our favor. So with all of that legendary effect mumbo jumbo in mind, and of the fact that radical conversion with this mod set is actually a pretty damn powerful weapon in the first place, I think all in all, radical conversion is a pretty damn healthy choice choice of weapon for you, the lone survivor, the sole survivor, the lone wanderer, whatever the hell you want to call yourself. Again, effective at long range, medium range, short range, it fires quickly, it delivers huge amounts of damage, the ammunition type is relatively common, so there aren't really any downsides to this weapon. Of course you could always argue there are better weapons, but this one's pretty easy to get and it's pretty damn powerful. So if you thought this weapon was crap, Hopefully you've had a radical conversion. But if not, then hey, all I have to say is that it's cool and rad. Or as I like to say, it's radical. And here it is, radical conversion in action. And there you have it ladies and gentlemen, I've been Camel and this has been my walkthrough weapon guide for the unique radium rifle known as Radical Conversion in the Fallout 4 DLC Far Harbor. I do hope that this video helped you out in some way and if it did and you enjoy these weapon guides, please feel free to click on the playlist button on screen. This of course will take you directly to my Fallout 4 guides playlist where you can select the videos you wish to watch freely or you can check in the description where it will be frequently updated with links to new Fallout 4 guides. If you enjoy pictures of Ginger Cats with no context, please feel free to follow me on Twitter, the link will be found in the description. Or of course you could search Camelworks on Twitter. And with all that said, I would like to thank you very much for watching, it's been an absolute pleasure to have you here, and I will see you very shortly in the next video, I'll see you there in a second.